Hey guys, live from Nordic Fintech Week. I'm here with Danilo Catania, CEO of InfoShare. Danilo, welcome. Thank you. So, not only we're fellow Italians, but I'm actually very proud of InfoCert as an Italian citizen because it's an Italian reality with global footprint, isn't it? Yeah, at the moment we are operating in more than 60 countries. We have uh, more than 5,000 large customers in 60 countries. What does InfoCert do? InfoCert starts as a certification authority or qualified trust service provider, as is the name now with the new regulation, the new European regulation. But along the years, we are focusing in using this kind of atomic services, so digital signature, digital identity, uh, registered email, to create, let's say, end-to-end -end services. For example, uh, the most common service we offer is uh, uh, onboarding for, for banking or uh, you know, opening uh, consumer credit or certifying some process within utilities. This kind of, uh, let's say, digital transformation, but still keeping full legal value. I suppose as well that uh, InfoCert is uh, creating also a marketplace, right, for uh, other technologies or startups to collaborate. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. We, it's two years now. We started uh, a sort of open innovation schema that is uh, in our vision the opportunity to talk with uh, new companies that have something very similar to us, we help them in using our, let's say, core technology, you know, uh, digi remote digital signatures or a digital identity. We also usually help them in going to the market together. As I said, uh, if it's something interesting, something innovative, we offer it to existing customers and uh, to our prospect. And if things go well, of course, there is also an opportunity to make, you know, uh, M&A operation uh, after that. So now a question that uh, maybe not many people are asking you. So I'm an investor in emerging markets, particularly focused in Africa. Africa means financial inclusion, means right. identity as uh, the main need, the basis, uh, the ground to then build up on the top of it uh, financial inclusion services. What is, is your vision and do you guys operate as well in emerging markets? Uh, absolutely, yes, we do operate, and Africa is uh, one of the continents where we have many, many customers because uh, we acquired in 2023, so a few months ago, a uh, majority of Ashersia. Ashersia is a UK based, London based, uh, let's say, former fintech that specializes in uh, PKI software, and actually they have the development in uh, Lahore, Pakistan, and the uh, sales uh, office in Dubai. And from there, they are absolutely helping North African, Central African, and our biggest deal this quarter has been in South Africa, in using this technology in a way that, as you are mentioning, uh, they are accelerating their digital transformation. So, so you see, Danilo, you said that uh, you don't go to this type of events very often, but I'm actually extremely grateful uh, that the Nordic FinTech Week uh, made us meet. What did you think of the event so far? The event has been very, very interesting for me. As I am being honest, uh, unfortunately, we have more than 700 colleagues and they have to take care of all the, you know, all the branches uh, that now are 19. We are in 19 uh, different cities. Having said that, for me, has been absolutely an opportunity because I met interesting people, so there's been a networking opportunity and also some ideas. So idea sharing, the fact that Nordics has a very, very intense, I would say, and long experience with digital identity. They started more than 20 years ago. While we have a more, but they are quite close as an ecosystem, while we have a, a more uh, you know, widespread approach, uh, made me have uh, you know, some very interesting discussions in the last hours. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me.